It's August on Revilla Gagedo Island north of Ketchikan, and the salmon are running in Neats Bay Creek. These fish are about to spawn and die. It's the end of their life cycle, but many other cycles are in evidence here. When the salmon come, the harbor seals come with them, looking for a meal. The eagles are watching, even if they lack the motivation to hunt right now. The gulls feed voraciously on fish carcasses that litter the stream banks. These carcasses come courtesy of the bears that fish here. With so many fish, the bear population is large and the animals are getting fat. Even the sows and cubs get plenty to eat. The fishermen are here. Their incentive is profit rather than nourishment. So are the tourists hungry for an experience of nature that no longer exists in urban America. In the vast wilderness that is southeast Alaska, everyone covets the salmon. These are wild fish, but nature didn't put them here, at least not in these numbers. This is the Neats Bay Salmon Hatchery one of four aquaculture facilities operated by the Southern Southeast Regional Aquaculture Association, or SARA. It's a private, non-profit enterprise conceived and financed by Southeast Alaska commercial fishermen. It exists to supplement Alaska's natural bounty by putting more fish in the sea for the sake of all who want them. 